situation. There are a lot of situations I don't like. Which what? do you not like? Oh, with Doug Funny. Uh -huh. I just think it's like not going to be good for me. Mm-hmm. So. I mean, I think you're great. I care about you a lot, but I just I need like a couple of days alone. I think. Yeah. You know, I think you you've helped me like a thousand times more than maybe I've helped you here. So it's hard. So. Just by being here and like being like the only sane person here. Mm -hmm. And like being able to like have somebody to like go through this together, you know, mm -hmm. but I mean, I think it's just, you know, I kind of like on a small, on a small scale, I know what I'm jeopardizing, but I just don't, um, you know, I don't know. It's just not going to work for me. I feel like... I just noticed kind of this repeating thing that it feels like you're very quick to bail when something makes you uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> it's called, like, foresight. It's called, like, the inevitability of the situation. And it's either, like, bail now or bail, like, when you and Doug Funny are kissing on that log over there. And it's like, I'm just never going to be comfortable with that. I've told you that from the beginning, you know. It's just not my thing. I know, I understand that. I, I think calling it foresight is a little bit odd. I mean, you wanted to bail, like when you perceive that like there's something going on with Josh. Yeah, because you know? I'm not the kind of person that deal, like deals well with that. And like you've never like, like with Josh at least, like sometimes you're like, um, once in a while you'll be like, no, there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. But most of the time you're just like, oh stop, don't be, you know? And like, so like it's tolerable, you know what I mean? But it's not like you're reassuring me and I, you know, like some people have places in their lives they need to be reassured of, mm -hmm. you know, like that's like their Achilles heel sort of. So. No, I 100% I, I get that. And I. But I, today with like Doug Funny, it was like, you just sort of like skated the issue and like, yeah, I'm like jumping to conclusions, but if it was off the table, you would have said so. Right. Mm -hmm, yeah. But it's not off the table. No. So I think I want you to pursue it, but I can't be a part of that. I just like this all just like happened. Like I'm really confused because this all just like happened really fast. Like I suddenly come into a conversation that you're having with a group of people. Well, no, I had called Taylor over to talk about it, and and, and then, then people and then you announced up. to me like that you're moving out, like that, like that. Like, that's not communication to me. But that's I did tell you, like... like getting like, blindsided. I understand. I'm sorry you about know, that. You know, like, and that's, that's like... Turning something that really shouldn't be an issue. Like, weird issue. And I just don't... Well, I didn't handle it properly. But I told you, like, that situation... Isn't, would not be comfortable for me if it came up in the future, you know? And I told you that, like, a month ago. And I don't know... You know, maybe I should have been, like, talking about it more openly. I, and, like, more repetitively. But I thought I kind of communicated that. But you're right, I didn't handle it right, I'm sorry. I was wrong and but like I also want you to know that like I'm not like m like it's like I'm mad or like sad or upset about it because I'm not like I know who you are you've never like been anything other than who you have been so it's not like I'm like angry I mean I'm sad a little bit but 
that'll pass. It's just that, you know, it's not something I can, like, be a part of. Like, I, it's just, it's just odd to me, is all, like, it feels like when something makes you uncomfortable, like, it's like you fill in the rest of the story, like, automatically, and then base your decision on how you're going to react to the situation based on that story, you know, like, like, well, you're judging like, my insides like from this, your outsides. There's I mean. this, there's a sense of inevit inevitability that it's whatever the situation is it's going to be bad for you or that it's going to go in some direction that's going to just continue to make you uncomfortable like like it's just but you're having the, you're having the same exact um you're having the same exact reaction that i'm having how do you mean you think it'll inevitably be bad for you to just like stay monogamous with me while you're here And so you're just like, you're not even giving it a try. The first person who walks in here who has an interest in you and it has a similar, like, past as I, you, you're, like, jumping on of it like Of course I'm giving it like a try. A frog. Like, like a frog it could have the been, water. Sure, if, 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 if I really wanted to be just, like, demonstrative and organic with this, like, from day one I could have picked, like, just two guys to somehow try to cobble it together and make it work and try to make a But it wouldn't have worked of, here exactly you know and try to make a recreation of what i know right but, but now you're doing it like you have an opportunity and i think it's great like you should pursue it if that's what you want it makes me sad but i also I'm, it's no surprise to me just like it's probably no surprise to you knowing that if you want to pursue that i would be like sorry i mean we're both on the same page it's just it's just like the reciprocal of each other it's just I don't know it's just tough it like it feels I'm sorry how it was handled it's off that way. it's off putting to me just because it's you know it's an energy that I haven't had to deal with in a long time like and especially like when all I've done is talk to a person or like it's... scratch a person's back and I'm not, and I'm not, none of this is just, is like trying to change your mind. This is all just kind of airing out and venting, if anything. Like, I'm not in a place to try to argue anything. Just this whole experience has been off-putting, like. It's just all different from what I'm used to. Um, I wish I'd asked more about like what was going through your mind more frequently and, and earlier. I don't know, it, like this isn't... But is it a surprise to you? I mean, are you acting like you got... I mean, you said... I mean, it wasn't fair that we were having the conversation. It's just that we were talking about it when you were with Doug Funny, and then we were sitting on the steps, and I was trying to be like, what the heck's going on? Because everybody was egging me on. And I was just like, what, what do you mean? Like, the kids... I don't have to worry about that guy. He looks like Doug Funny. And they were like, no, no, no. Dedeker really has taken an interest in her, him. And I was like, well, and then somebody said, well, they were holding hands, but I was like, I think they're kidding. So I was, and then you approached. So it was like, I had to continue the conversation. Mm -hmm. What was I supposed to do? Get up and walk away? Mm -hmm. So, but I'm not making an excuse. It, it wasn't nice. And then you came over to the boys circle and it was more of the same because we were having a conversation. But mm -hmm. I think that, um, I'm sorry if it's a surprise to you that I'm not like comfortable with this, but I, 
I do think I, I did have the conversation up front with you in the beginning, and I also have shown signs of jealousy around like Josh and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think that it's not like a total um, surprise. And it's also not like, it's not a surprise for me either. Like that Doug Funny is like something to pursue for you. Like it's, it doesn't surprise me. Mm -hmm. I mean, it does in a way, cause he's not a very handsome guy, but like, it doesn't surprise me in the sense that like, this is who you are. You've never been anything but honest about it. Mm -hmm. um, so am I sad? Yeah, because like, the only, like, I think we did well together here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like sometimes we're like, like um, Anderson and Anderson, like we were like the accounting team and sometimes we were like the swim team and sometimes we were like the like serious talk team. Like you seem to couple all the parts of the different like personalities and day-to-day -day things we had going. So I like that, but you know, like, unfortunately, like, I don't want Doug Funny to be in the picture, too, mm -hmm. you know? And I think you do, and I don't want to, like, take that away from you. I think it's mm -hmm. also, like, nice to meet new people. I mean, I, I don't want to take that away from you, you know? And you guys share, obviously, a lot more in common than I do with you. Otherwise, it wouldn't, there wouldn't be a spark there. Mm -hmm. So I think... For me, like, I would like a few days just to sort of, like, do my thing. And, like, I don't mean, like, we can't hang out. I mean, obviously, we, we're hanging out. Mm -hmm. We're singing a hammock together. But I'm not really interested in, like, pursuing anything more than a friendship. Well, I mean, my question is, like, would this still be going down if he was never coming back? And And you had, like, no intent of, like... I mean, I think it's the intention. It was just, like, when you... Like you said in not so many words that like that's something you may want to pursue. You don't know. See that like that's something that upsets me is because it's like like literally I don't know. I've had two conversations with the guy. Like, right. And the fact that like that that's what Nikki jumps on and it bothered me way back on day two when Bree jumped on like are you Nikki and Mike gonna have a threesome? Are you and Mike gonna be boyfriend and girlfriend? On day two like right. it was the same thing. I was just like like calm the fuck down. I'm not like I'm right. not trying to project anything. I'm not trying to have any expectations. I'm just trying to take it one moment at a time, and I'm not like trying to like. But that's like saying like I'll be here or I won't be here one moment at a time. And I I mean it's not night like it's not like I can't like I think you need to pursue it and let me know what you find out. You know. Like I. Should I should I say in all honesty, am I all for it? No, of course not. But I am all for you allowing to be who you are, mm -hmm. and like wanting to you to be who you are, and never wanting you to be anything different. I really didn't want you to be like the Ronald Reagan Country Club girl sitting next to me yesterday. You know, is that what I want? Probably not. I don't think it would last very long. I, I you know what I mean. But I I don't. Want, <laughs> what does that mean? Like a girl that's a Ronald Reagan Country Club girl. I wouldn't want that, but at the same time, I don't want to stifle you, you know? Am I happy about the situation? No, of course not. Like, I thought I had a good thing going, but, you know, am I jumping too fast to conclusions? I don't think so, because it's, like, pretty apparent that Doug Funny might be a potential romantic interest. Oh, but, I mean, what if, like, I mean, what if I'd reacted this way after you had your little makeout session with your fangirl? Like, well, maybe I was trying to get your attention. <laughs> Really? Genuinely? Yeah, to see how you would react to it and stuff. No, I mean, that was like... The makeout session was just bizarre. <laughs> but the thing is, is like you didn't react to it because you didn't care. It's not that I didn't care, but it's like... I don't know, like I... It comes from a place of... Like, I was happy. Right. I was happy for you. I was happy that you got the attention. I thought it was hilarious and it was bizarre. It was more just funny. And it was funny, you know. But then this whole time, you know, if you ever go and like cuddle with somebody else or flirt with somebody else, like I'm happy about that. I'm happy about the fact that like you get that because of the fact that I care about you, you know. 
and I'm, and I'm not saying that because I think that that's the way that you should think or, or trying to like impose that on you or anything like this, but it's just, it's just a different mindset, you know? Yeah, completely. And I, I respect it a hundred percent. I just don't want to be a part of it. Did you want me to react to it? A little bit. Yeah. I mean, it's one thing if I'm, like, giving Hex a hug or you're giving Taylor a hug. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't care. Like, we're all in this thing together mm -hmm. and it's, like, crazy. And it's, like, whatever. It's no big deal. Plus, I know Hex would, like, punch you in the face if you got too close to Taylor. <laughs> like, there are checks there, you know? But I think, like, bringing, bringing Doug Funny into the equation, like, first of all, it's a silly pursuit. And secondly, like, I, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It's just not my thing, you know? I wish there had been the courage to ask for that reassurance earlier on. What do you mean? Like the reassurance that you wanted, you know? From the reassurance from what? From why is me. There, why is there a cow over there? Yeah. From you about Doug Funny? No, just, I mean, like previously you know even about josh or whatever like it i have been I yeah mean, but that's like why the, i act the way i do the only no you like it was asked for at a point when it was like well if, like if you want to pursue josh then go pursue josh like don't be with me like like that's not that's waiting until it reaches the boiling point before it's asking not a for boiling, it you know? boiling. nobody's boiling mm -hmm. like i'm not boiling well, no I, you know but i know what i mean like well, waiting I'm until a, like it reaches the point fact, of... I'm a very fact-oriented person. The bailing like, point, then. Yeah, the unveiling point. Like, I'm a very fact-oriented person. Like, I see things going on, and I, like, analyze them, and I try to, like, make a decision based on them. You know? But to me, personally, like, having interest in Doug Funny and then coming up and rubbing my back is, like, not what I want. You know what I mean? Like... I wouldn't, that's not how I operate, you know what I mean? Like, go talk to Doug Funny, go rub his back if that's what you want at that moment. Like, or, or like, I can't, like, I'm too much of one person to have both, you know? What do you mean you're too much of one person? I have, like, too big a butt. I mean, like, I just have, like... I, what? I'm just, like, too, I'm not interested in, like, the Doug Funny, like... Like, I, I just can't do, I just can't do it, you know? And I think, like... Like, it's fine who you are. I have no problem with it. In fact, like, I'm encouraging it by saying, like, go pursue that. It makes me sick. Think I'm doing the right thing? Probably not. But I, I, I'm not the kind of person to just, like, sit and wait until it does reach a boiling point. Well, well what do you think is smarter or the right thing? For me? Yeah. To do this now instead of when you and Doug Funny are holding hands and you s smile and wave at me because we're all, like, in a happy union like then I'm going to break Doug Funny's neck like it's not that's that'll be the boiling point like I'm going to go in and be like Doug Funny and like push him on the ground funny you know and like you I really don't want to so? become that person what's that you really think so yeah like I don't want to become that person that's not me so I think now is a better time to do it than like you said when it rages a real problem Outside of, you know, your own feelings of whether it's for you or not, or whether you agree with it or not, like, do you, do you hold respect for the way that I live my life? Yeah, of course. I think you're wonderful.
Like, and I think your lifestyle's fine. Like, I see no, like, you don't understand. Like, I don't, like, you should see the people I, I'm, clo like, closest with in my own life. It's a much more, like, amorph, like, amorphous, like, crazy set of people than, you know, than you would think. Mm -hmm. And it's like, 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 I don't have any, like, I've been like that my whole life. Like, my parents have been like that. My grandparents have been like that. Like, like what? Like, uh, we enjoy the company of all people. And, like, I enjoy, like, what everybody has to bring to the table. And whatever lifestyle you're living, I totally respect it. Mm -hmm. So, it's not, like, my closest, the closest people in, in New York that I'm closest to is a gay couple that's been together for you know 25 years mm -hmm. you know what I mean and I can't say anything more but mm -hmm. like I don't like judge people I want everybody I'm friends with and know to pursue happiness mm -hmm. or to pursue what they believe will bring them whatever you know mm -hmm. but I would hope you would respect my like lot no. in life too no completely I'm I know this probably counts as hearsay I'm just a little concerned that in that conversation is expressed that this is just about having more well I'm pissed off and I'm also like goofing around with those guys like well, that that's bothersome to me why because that's not that's not like respectful it's not representative of like being respectful it's not representative of like what my life is actually about like this is just about my behavior would have been a lot different from day one right well I guess maybe I'm just and I like know, I know that you're pissed off right now I understand that but like please at least have Maybe have the consideration to not slam my lifestyle. I'm not slamming your lifestyle. I was slamming the situation. Like, I have a decision to make. And you have a decision to make. And I'm, like, pissed off about it. But, like, we were, like, two people on a life raft, mostly. And it was, like, I happened to be very happy with the person that was in my life raft. And now I'm getting out of the life raft. And I'm scared. So am I. Like, it made this thing, like, tolerable. And would we be together hanging out the same way in the outside world? Probably, actually. But it wouldn't, like... I probably... W I mean, here's what would happen. I, you wouldn't have been, like, because of the constraints here, you never would have had the opportunity to get to know who I was. Mm. But because of the constraints here, I think you have time to recognize, like, I was a lot of things that you liked. Mm -hmm. I'm really glad about that.